Are you struggling to switch off in the evenings? And this is one of the reasons why you're insomniac. In this video, I will share my top tips and ways, tools and techniques that you can build a really great switching off process for yourself. So you can treat your insomnia naturally in 2019. Hi, my name is Beatrix Schmidt from the sleepdeepmethod.com. As a sleep coach and speaker, I help professionals just like you to overcome insomnia and other sleep-related problems. For the best and most practical sleep and insomnia advice, subscribe to my channel and come back every week for new videos on different tools and techniques that you can put into your everyday life to overcome and treat your insomnia naturally. Tip number one in overcoming insomnia and building a great routine to be able to switch off in the evening is figuring out what is causing you to, uh, to be unable to do that. So this can be worries, this can be your to-do list, these can be things that might be happening tomorrow or things that happen during the day. And when you start really knowing and understanding what is it that's causing you to not be able to switch off in the evening, you'll be able to start implementing some of the other tools and techniques that I'll give you in the future videos. So start with keeping a sleep diary. And the Sleep Deep Method Sleep Diary that we have, um, and I use it with my clients all the time, has a section in it which basically allows you to record What's stopping you to be able to switch off in the evening? And once you have that information, you'll be aware of what's going on and therefore you'll be able to come back and learn more tools and techniques from you. But start with understanding what's causing that problem. Because as usual within the Sleep Deep Method, this is one of the most important things that we need to have, is the information about what is causing your current situation. Please don't self-diagnose your sleep issues. If you're having trouble switching off and it may be linked to a medical condition that you have, seek medical advice for it. Because in this video, I'm sharing lifestyle-related practical tools and techniques, but it doesn't mean that it's going to help you to overcome the other medical issues that you might have. Tip number two in overcoming insomnia and treating it naturally when it comes to the, the, your ability to be able to switch off in the evening is all about your understanding that it's not just about putting yet another routine in place, yet another probably maybe useless routine in place, is looking at it from a different perspective, looking at it from this is a way for you to transition from the day to the night. And I think this is one of the things that with my clients, when I work through this process, when we really truly understand that that's the purpose of the evening routine, then it's much easier for us to actually put it in place. So we don't have as much resistance to it, for example. So look at ways that you can actually transition from whatever you've got going on um, in the evening, transitioning into bed. So for example, uh, I often have that with clients who have children. Um, the evening tends to be about putting the children to bed if they're young enough and looking after other people, cooking dinner, preparing dinner and so on. So that's a role of our life, being a parent. And sometimes you can find it really hard to then switch into putting our sleep first and focusing on doing something nice for ourselves so that we can transition from the day to the night. And that is what the switching off process is, is putting yourself first and leaving everything else behind. So let's pause here for a moment. I would like you to think about a time that you have had a really good night's sleep and think about what you did in the evening that you think helped you to transition from the day to the night. Um, because those are the clues that you have in your everyday life in the past that you can bring to today and start implementing either the same thing or similar things. So comment below and let me know what you think helped you the most in the past to transition from day to night and, and be able to switch off effectively. Tip number three is honoring the personally type that you are. So what do I mean by that? 
Um, often during my work I mention that personality types and working with who you are and so on. But this especially pay, plays a big role when we talk about the switching off in the evening and treating your insomnia naturally that way. So if you're struggling to switch off in the evening and get to bed and, and have a peaceful mind and be able to switch off, then looking at your personality type will really help you to put a great routine in place. So let's take me as an example. I'm quite an active person. I love speaking with people and talking to people. Um, I'm very visual, so I like watching films rather than listening to podcasts, for example. And um, my brain has also been really active in the past. I think that's one of the reasons why I struggled with insomnia in the past, because I found it hard to switch off my, my self-talk and my, my ideas and so on. So in my case, what helped me the most is to, for example, stop uh, having different stimulations in the evening. So for example, phone. I switch, switch my phone off uh, at 10 o'clock at night and I only go to bed at 11.30. So there's quite a bit of time for me to process what happened during the day, what are the things that I enjoyed, what are the mistakes I might have made before I actually go into bed. And this really helps my mind to process and to be able to come up with solutions so that I don't take all of that into the bedroom. Now, for you, it doesn't have to be that long. It doesn't have to be from 10 to 11.30. Find probably half an hour, 45 minutes before you climb into bed to really wrap up the day, to find things that you enjoy doing and it could be reading a little bit um, before going to bed. But one of the things I always tell my clients is not to read in bed. Because that is what I call entertainment element. Entertainment things like watching something on your laptop or on your TV, reading a book and uh, listening to different things. You want to be able to develop the skill of switching off. And the way to do that is to do that outside of the bedroom environment. And that could even mean during the day. So take five minutes, ten minutes during the day to pause, to do a breathing exercise, for example. That will then help you to train your body and your mind to be able to do that when it comes to bedtime as well. If you're ready to start keeping a sleep diary, come over to the sleepdeepmethod.com and download the free resource, which is the Sleep Deep Method Sleep Diary. And I'll put the link in the comment for you uh, so that you can uh, access that. And take a week to 10 days. Some of my clients do it for two weeks, depending on their situation, to keep a sleep diary because it's going to give you a wealth of information for you to be able to treat and overcome your insomnia naturally in 2019 and focusing on the switching off process, that's probably one of the best ways you can figure out the things that are working for you and the things that might not be working for you. So come over, download the resource, it's free. Um, and if you've got any questions, you can just ask me in the comments as well. Um, I would love to be able to help you to overcome your insomnia as well. If you like this video, click on the like button below, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends and family. Insomnia and other sleep issues are impacting a lot of people's lives. So this video might be the one that helps them to start improving their situation as well. And of course, I would love to really hear what has helped you in the past to be able to switch off in the evening. And if you've got a question around this topic or, or overall around insomnia, Feel free to pop a question below and I will be very happy to answer you as soon as I can and maybe create a video that will answer your questions in a little bit more details. So keep going and keep looking for insomnia tips and advice because just like many of my clients, you can overcome and treat your insomnia naturally in 2019 as well. So thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.